My work centers around intimacy and the effects that intimacy has on one's sense of self. Uh, specifically, I'm looking at how over time, when you become really close with someone, you start identifying yourselves, uh, yourself with that person. So instead of a me, you become a we. Um, and I'm sorry, talking about my art's really hard. My name is Kelly Atkins, and I was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama. And I moved here to go to grad school. And first I did a master's in philosophy program, and now I'm currently in the MFA program with a concentration in painting. I went to the University of South Alabama uh, whenever I lived in Mobile for undergrad, and I majored in philosophy, and I really enjoyed it. And then I went to business school after that because I didn't know what to do, and that's what my dad did. And I didn't have any business background, so I dropped out because it was really hard. Um, and then while I was doing that, I reconnected with one of my philosophy professors, and I said I wanted to go to grad school, so he helped me work on my application, and I applied to several schools, but Ole Miss accepted me and gave me the biggest stipend, so I came here. It was a two-year program, and the summer in the middle of those two semesters, I started painting again, and it was something that I had done my whole life, but I'd just taken a hiatus from it, and I fell back in love with it, and. I came over here and bothered uh, Professor Jackson, and he uh, worked with me, and I applied to this program, and he accepted me. So the paintings behind me are about intimacy and the effects that they have on one's sense of self, but it didn't start with that. Um, my significant other, uh, when was this, 2000, and the beginning of 2019, he uh, moved away for an internship, and I didn't handle it very well, and I kind of became obsessed with the idea of touch because it was the only thing I couldn't have. Um, and I started making all these paintings of really close up um, areas of two figures touching. And they weren't, they weren't like sexual, but the figures were nude. But like I didn't want to make it look sexual, I wanted to make it look just intimate. And to me those are two different things, but they do overlap. But as I was making those, I was, knew how to start thinking about thesis, and I didn't feel like that idea was complicated enough. Um, so my thesis committee asked me a lot of questions, and it made me think more about like, what is it about relationships that I want to talk about? And identity uh, came to mind, because I just think it's interesting, especially for me, like I've just, like I've been in a relationship my whole life. Like I've never really had a long period of time in my life where I've been single. Um, and relationships are just really important to me. I also think they're super fascinating. Like you pick this person and you just do stuff with them for the rest of your life. I started by overlapping uh, images over each other. And at first that was really difficult for me to paint. And I, I wasn't always um, an abstract artist either. So transitioning from purely representational to abstract was really difficult for me. But abstraction let me talk about things that I couldn't with just representation because the things I was trying to talk about, this loss of identity and two becoming one and like the feelings associated with intimacy is a really abstract thing. It's not something you can see. Um, so abstraction kind of became an answer for me to communicate those things. So I kind of think of color as analogous to music and I also play piano so I kind of think of it in terms of piano where uh, cool colors would be minor keys and warm colors are major keys and if you move lower an octave the colors become darker and more muted and you, when you move higher an octave the colors are um, more saturated and lighter and that's kind of where my paintings live, up in like a higher octave. And um, yeah, they're not sad songs, but they're not really, really happy songs either. The, it's kind of like the, the subject matter is weird and maybe neutral and then paired with the bright colors, uh, it's kind of like a weird juxtaposition. Because you look at these paintings and they're not like stereotypical images of love. They almost look kind of uncomfortable, and I just think it's, uh, it's a way to get people to look at the art longer also.
identities of like individuals. I'm also talking about how two people come together to create like one metaphysical entity. Now, do I really believe that two people create one metaphysical entity? No, and I probably couldn't provide a philosophical argument, but I can make paintings about it. And I think that's another reason I switched to art um, instead of staying in philosophy, because it became really exhausting trying to just prove how right you are all the time. And art's a little bit more free and that you don't have to do that.